I coach fourth place finish here at your home tournament and uh, maybe take us through your thoughts on how your team played uh, this weekend. A lot of golf for a group that hadn't played any tournament golf this year and really hasn't had a fall in quite a long time. So we're just really trying to build that stamina up. And I was extremely proud of the way we competed. Um, competed hard, 36 holes on Saturday at Grand Valley, 18-18 at home. You always want to protect your home turf. I thought we did that. I thought we got a little tired, um, but that's what you're going to expect from a first tournament is a bit of fatigue, um, more mentally than physically at some points. So we lost some shots there, but overall really proud of the way our, our ladies played. You mentioned um, just the fact that they haven't had a fall in a while, and as you know, having been here in the past, what fall can be like. How nice it to be out in your own course, have good conditions and nice weather at least. I don't know what I've done to deserve this. Um, at my last stop in South Carolina, I hosted a tournament in mid-March. It was 39 degrees and raining. Um, so sometimes you, you put in some days where it's not so good to get rewarded with 75 degrees days at, at Khaki, and um, it was gorgeous. Uh, got a lot of great feedback on the course. I know Tony and his crew and Brian and, and his crew in the clubhouse are working really hard to, to make this place as nice as possible. And it was just nice to show off our, what a great facility we have here at Khaki. Um, it, it's fantastic. It's, it's not often we get to have a home event, not having a couple falls in a row here. Um, but we were glad to be out here, glad to have a lot of parents, a lot of um, support from the community. And so it was, it was a great couple days of golf. A couple things you maybe want to clean up here going forward as uh, you get a little bit deeper into the fall season. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of first tournament jitters, first tournament nerves. And um, the way the schedule ran this year, you're usually not playing your first tournament in late September. So um, we're a little bit behind on our learning curve. It's going to be a steep learning curve the next couple of weeks. We go to Finley, we go to Tiffin, then we go to Davenport three weeks consecutively. So um, it's going to be two off days, a lot of rest, um, and then really more cleaning up on the mental side on our approach. And that's where you're going to save the most shots is just um, how consistent are you in your approach every day, especially when it comes to tournament time. Have we applied enough pressure in practice to where um, it just feels like another day when we get out there? So um, a lot to clean up, but I was, I was really proud of the effort this week.